What's up guys, this is your boy Jay from JS Films and as promised, I'm gonna go ahead and teach you guys the workflow for the GoPro Fusion, how to import and export in 5.2K or more if you have an 8K footage. So the first thing you're gonna wanna do is go ahead and plug in your GoPro Fusion using the USB cable to your computer or laptop and then open the GoPro Fusion Studio. After that, you just have to go browse camera media I'm gonna go ahead and go back to Fusion Studio and it's just gonna prepare it. After it's done loading, you're gonna see all the footage that you have in your GoPro Fusion. This is really nice. This is a really nice feature because you don't actually have to pull your memory cards because you have to and copy and paste footage. You can read from the camera directly to the computer, which is pretty amazing. So what we're gonna do is just pick one uh, 360 footage. I'm just gonna pick the first one I did. We'll just do this one. So basically after we click that, we're gonna go to the right side and you, so you can see, on the right side I'm gonna leave the 360. I'm not gonna do the over capture. So by moving the yaw, you're telling the software that this is the first frame you wanna begin when the YouTube video or the Facebook video loads. You don't want it to be all the way in the back where there's nobody there because people are going to have to look for you. So by centering yourself, by using the yaw option, you're actually telling software, start here. For the stabilization, I'm going to click none because it's pretty, it was on a tripod or a mini pod, so I'm going to leave that as is. And then the pitch and a roll, it looks pretty level to me, so I'm just going to leave it as is as well. If you go to the right, you can get more settings. You can actually switch it to flat mode if you want, but I didn't shoot this in flat mode, so I'm gonna go with GoPro with Rec. 709. You can change the temperature as well, but for the color correcting grading, I'm gonna do that in DaVinci Resolve because that's what DaVinci Resolve is for. So pretty much after that, I'm just gonna go ahead and add it to render queue. And this page is gonna pop up. If you wanna directly upload this to Facebook, you can go ahead and click the Facebook, YouTube, or Vimeo, but for us, we want the highest quality possible because we'll be exporting it from DaVinci. So let's go ahead and go with editing 5.2K as the resolution and leave it as stereo for the audio. And after that, you just click render queue and then click render all here and then it's gonna start rendering. So what we're gonna do, I, re I already rendered this file so let's go ahead and jump in DaVinci Resolve. And the file is actually right here so I'm gonna go ahead and drag and drop that in my media pool. Don't change, it's fine. We're gonna go to our top, I'm sorry, I'm, we're gonna go to our bottom right corner and change the resolution to 5120 by 2560, which is 5.2K resolution. And if you control F, you should see that it's pretty high res, and that's why I got the GoPro Fusion, because it's a higher resolution than the other competitors. So let's go ahead and go to uh, here, right click, create timeline. I'm going to zero this out because the start time code is also always one. I'm going to go to our edit tab. So for the sake of this tutorial, I'm just going to make this a little bit shorter so the render time is not as long. So we'll make it, I'm just scrolling out here. I'm just going to make this like two seconds, right? We want also want to make sure that the the frame rate on DaVinci is also right. So go back, and this was shot in 30 frames per second, so let's go ahead and do that. So we have the playback frame rate correctly. So after you're done editing and cutting here, you can go to color. And this is where you're gonna do all your color correcting and grading. Uh, this is pretty much the same way you can color correct or grade in DaVinci Resolve, because it's a flat image, which is really nice. But this video is just basically showing you the workflow from start, from the capture, to through the DaVinci Resolve to after in part two, rendering it for YouTube or whatever. So we're gonna go ahead and skip that out. We're gonna go to the deliver page. So this page is actually where it gets kind of tricky because in DaVinci Resolve 15, the maximum resolution for an MP4 is not 5K. And I'm gonna show you what I'm talking about. So if we go to custom and we go to format, we go to MP4, and it's gonna go H.264, right? I'm gonna leave it as is, the frame rate is 30. I'm gonna try and render this, just as is. It's gonna tell me where I wanna save it. I'm just gonna save it wherever I want. It's 
So we'll save it to VR is fine. Add render to queue and click render. And there you go. You're going to start getting recording failed because the MP4 H.264 in DaVinci Resolve doesn't output to 5K. The maximum, I think, is 4K only for H.264. So when you're actually trying to render out a 5.2K file or more, you're going to need to render something out of this after you color correct and then use another software, which we will do in part two of this tutorial. What we are going to do in DaVinci Resolve is export in DNxHR, which will let us export in higher 4K. Now, just a reminder, if you have DaVinci Resolve Lite, the free version, you are not going to be able to render over 4K. So you can only export higher than Ultra HD if you have the paid version of DaVinci Resolve. For $299, DaVinci Resolve is freaking cheap considering what it can do. Anyways. So what we're going to do here is go to QuickTime and at the codec, we're going to choose DNxHR 10-bit. You can choose 12-bit, but I'm just going to go with 10-bit to save some space. After that, we're just going to make sure that our frame rate is also correct. 2560 is good. You can leave concept bit rate just fine. You can do the advanced settings, make sure that the pixel aspect ratio is square, and then I'm going to do full. All right. And then after that, we're just going to rename it test1 and see if this renders. Main stereo is good. Add to render queue and then start render. There you go. It rendered in nine seconds. And we're going to double check that by going to that folder, desktop, VR. Test one is right here, right click properties, details, and there it is, 512 by 2560. Mind you, this is two seconds of 5.2K, and it is 658 megabits. You, prob you just probably can see that you can't upload this anywhere. So the next step, the part two of this tutorial, which I'll make, is to export it into H.264 using Adobe Media Encoder with a plugin that I paid for. I hope you guys learned something new today and I'll talk to you guys later.